and Danny. Welcome to my cross stitching and sewing channel. Today I wanted to try out four different starches and give my opinion on them. Let's get started. All right, here are our four contestants. First off is the Purex de Flow. I got this one at Walmart for $3. This is a concentrated one, so I will be mixing it 50-50. The next one is Mary Ellen's Best Press, the clear starch and sizing alternative. This one I got at Menards for $5. The next one is Quality Care Heavy Duty Spray Starch. I got this one also at Menards for $2. And the final contestant is Chase's Spray Starch, which I got at the dollar store for a dollar. <laughs> All right, we have here the Purex the Flow. Uh, it is concentrated, so I mixed it 50 50. All right, let's spray it. Um, ooh, okay, that may have been a little bit too much. We'll let that sit for a little bit. I do have to say, it is slimier. <laughs> Though it could be because I, I may have used a little bit too much. All right, let's give this a press. Oh, oh, shoot, it's sticking to my iron. Uh, maybe I should have let it dry a little bit. Oh, let's flip it over. There we go. It's not sticking. <laughs> it's just going to stick to my ironing board. <laughs> Peel that off. Lie on the other side. Wow. All right. Wow. That's that's really stiff. <laughs> not much of a smell it is flaking on my ironing board but it's not flaking on the fabric this is a lighter fabric though maybe I should have tested it on darker fabric but no flaking no, no flaking on here it's very sturdy this is a 50-50 um mix 50 50 mix <laughs> all right here we have mary ellen's best press so we are let's see two products in one starch and sizing use on all fabrics no clogging no waste no flaking even on dark fabrics no residue or shine no spotting, makes ironing easier, relaxes stubborn wrinkles, safe storage, doesn't attract bugs, acid free and guards fabric from soiling. That sounds really nice. So all we have to do is spray it, do a nice spray, and then immediately iron. I love the sizzling sound. Okay. <laughs> mm smells lovely when you spray it on. The thickness. Still a little bit stretch right there. You see that? That's, that's not too bad. Now it does say if you want it thicker you spray it on the back. So let's do that. There we go. I love it. <laughs> Smells lovely. It's very quick. It's not flaking. Okay, that spotting's from my iron. Sorry. That's off. I need to get a new ironing board because it's kind of warped in the middle. <laughs> it's 
still some spots right there. Um, that might be uh, user error. <laughs> it might be my iron. All right. All right, that's a lot thicker. I like that that stiffness thicker. Stiffness. Not much of a stretch. I really like this one. I don't know how I, else I can get you guys to really see how um, okay I forgot what I was going to say but um, stiff the stiffness how else to, t to show off the stiffness but um, that's really nice I like that alright Okay, here we have Quality Care Heavy Duty Spray Starch. Makes ironing easier. No scorching or flaking. Non-clogging. Speed finish. Let's mix well. Spray it on. Okay, give it a good spray. Oh, I can't get the top back on. Let's see, iron to recommend to so hold. Spray lightly and evenly using these. Blah, blah, blah. Do not soak fabric. Spray large garments. One side. Iron garment immediately after spray. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Immediately after spraying. So it should not it should not flake. Is sticking to my iron though. <laughs> though I may have put too much on there. It is it is kind of flaking. Ugh. Maybe I used it wrong? Let's try again. Let's use the back. Just quick spray. Okay. And immediately iron. Maybe I just uh <laughs> maybe I just put too much of it on at first. You can see all the the flakes on my ironing board. <laughs> So yeah, maybe I just maybe I just put too much on it. All right, nice and iron. The flaking is my fault. And there's actually there's no flaking. There's flaking on here, but I don't see any flaking on on this fabric. Hmm. Stiffness. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's try Chase's spray starch from the dollar store. So we're supposed to shake it well. Okay, and we spray it on. Uh, see, to avoid flaking, allow starch to completely penetrate fabric before ironing. And don't overspray. <laughs> so let's do that. Just do. Okay. We'll let it sit for a little while. Okay, I don't know how long to really let this soak in, but um, I let it sit for just a little bit. Still a little damp. Let's iron. Now this is going to attract bugs because it is starch. Uh, let's see, iron smoothly and quickly for added crispness. Spray and iron again. Wow, that's still some not very uh, not very stiff. 
smells horrible. <laughs> and you have to wait just a little bit. It's not flaking, so that's a good thing. Let's give it one more one more try. Okay. We'll let that sit for just a little bit. Just a little bit. No? Okay. Alright. Let's iron this. <laughs> oh, that sizzle. So, so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Oh, that spotting is for my iron. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> so it is stiffer. I don't know if you can hear that. Where's the mic? <laughs> um, it's not as stiff as the other ones. Still smells bad. No flaking. You have to wait a little bit. Okay, we have we have a new contestant. It's a homemade starch. All right, let's iron it and see how it does. My husband just made this. He wanted to see how it does compared to the other ones. Ooh, oh, it, maybe I should wait. It's it's flaking bad. <laughs> I'll wait a little bit. All right. It's ooh. Oh no. Oh, I should have waited longer. It is flaking bad. Oh my god. All right, let's see. Okay, um, it is super, super. Um, what's the word? Um, stiff. <laughs> but it flaked. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. It flaked though. But oh my gosh, this is super, super stiff. All right, we have one more that he made he wants to try. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit for this because I don't want it all over my iron. Okay, I don't know how long to wait for this. I waited just a little bit. Um, he said he'll wipe off my iron. <laughs> so this is the heavy duty one he made. So let's... Let's try it. I go slow so it doesn't stick to my eye. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, I so waiting a little bit, a little bit longer. Uh, help with the flaking. Okay. Peel it off my ironing board. <laughs> Iron the other side. Alright. That is stiff. Now, I actually think, are you sure you were right on the heavy duty one? Because this one, the first one that we did, was is way stiffer. As you can see. I mean, it's way stiffer. <laughs> that was homemade ones. That was just a fun little experiment. <laughs> okay, so I was told that the first one was cornstarch, and the second one is used with rice flour. I'm going to do the sniff test. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
So cornstarch, rice flour. All right, here are the final results. Very thick 50-50 mix for three dollars. And this would last you a very long time if you don't want it this stiff. You can put you can do you, you can dilute it even more. The Mary Ellen's Best Press smells lovely. I sprayed this twice. Not as stiff as that one. And I got this one for five dollars. Okay, our next one is Quality Care. Heavy duty starch. I got this for two dollars. This one doesn't have much of a scent. I think the uh, stiffness is good. Not too stiff. And the final one is Chase's spray starch from the dollar store. It was a dollar. Um, I think the stiffness is as good as the quality care one. Has a horrible horrible smell to it. I do not like this one. Um, yeah. So, overall, I think I'd go between the Purex Flow one, Stuff Flow, <laughs> if you dilute it, and the Best Press one. So if you want to quickly um, get some small pieces, I mean, that's pretty good. It is also the most expensive one. Uh, the Purex one um, works fairly quickly. I didn't have to wait too long. It didn't flake, doesn't have, doesn't have a bad odor. I mean, there's, there's some kind of smell to it, but uh, this technically was the cheapest one. This would last much longer than any of these. So there's my opinion on these four starches. Well, there it is. My opinion on these four starches. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week for floss tube number seven. Enjoy your week. Bye!